current research states that inquiry-based teaching in mathematics is a highly effective strategy. The challenge, though, is fitting it into the classroom. How can all of this fit together in only one hour's time for mathematics generally? One way to make it all work is with the workshop model. This module will take us through a quick intro to what the workshop model looks like in the classroom and how it can be structured. The workshop model is made up of four main points, an opening, a mini lesson, student work time, and then reflection and connections at the end of the class period. Let's take a look at some of the specifics of each of these sections. The first part of the workshop model is the opening. It lasts approximately five minutes and it's simply to get students thinking or interested in the problem or the mathematics of the day. Next up is the mini lesson. This portion of the workshop model lasts about 10 to 15 minutes. During this time, the teacher leads the whole group with direct instruction. This could be the teacher modeling a specific skill or even a problem-solving strategy. It is important, though, that the teacher does not give the students the specific strategy to solve the day's problem. Next up is the largest chunk of the class period, which is student work time. This portion lasts approximately 40 minutes. During this time, students work independently, in pairs, or even small groups. While the students are working, the teacher circulates to ensure all students are on task, taking time to talk with students for a few minutes, and even taking anecdotal notes. During this time, the teacher can also work with individuals or even small groups to further their thinking. The last portion of class is sharing, reflection, and connection, which lasts approximately 5 to 10 minutes. The teacher reconvenes class as a whole group to facilitate a discussion highlighting the key problem-solving strategies utilized by the students in class. The students share and discuss the strategies, making connections between them. The teacher must be sure the connections are made and that student learning has taken place. The teacher then ends class with a formative assessment to check for understanding.